One of the best products that any laser business can sell are coasters. They're just super popular. They make a great gift and can be sold somewhat inexpensively while still making a nice profit. It's also an easy product to source or make from scratch. And because of their size, coasters are also relatively fast to engrave. I've compiled a number of great options if you want to add coasters to your business. I'll show how we made or finished them along with a quick cost profit comparison for each option. We'll also include links to any product or materials used in this video in the description below. I started with Slate coasters, which seems to be pretty popular. It's great that they are already a finished product, so all you're adding is the engraving. Given the material, however, this would be on the slow end in terms of engraving time. It's also going to be somewhat expensive compared to the other options I'm going to show. They do engrave really nice. They even already have little adhesive pads on the bottom. So after removing any residual engraving dust, they are completely finished and ready to ship. For fun, I engraved an extra one so that I could paint fill it. I used oil paint and made sure to work it into the engraving. I buffed the paint off with a paper towel, but a rag would work better. Another coaster you can make is a partial do-it-yourself option. You can turn basic 4x4 glazed ceramic tiles found in any hardware store into coasters. Like the slate tiles, these are going to take a little longer to engrave than other materials. The tiles do engrave reasonably well. The bottoms of the tiles are a little rough and bumpy. Adding some type of adhesive pads to the bottom takes care of that and makes for a more finished product. I had also engraved an extra tile so that I could paint fill it to show this as an added option. Just like before, I brushed some oil paint into the engraving. Rubbing the paint in with a squeegee or with glove fingers would probably be faster than what I'm doing. Also, like before, I buffed off the excess paint. And then this coaster was also finished off with some adhesive pads. The next coaster option I made was from pre-cut quarter inch cork. If you've ever tried cutting out cork on a laser, it's possible, but it makes a black sooty mess. However, lightly engraving on cork produces a really nice black finish. Engraving cork is relatively fast compared to the other options in this video. Unlike some of the other coasters in this list, you really don't need to add adhesive pads to these coasters. Cork is a really nice option that once they're engraved, you're pretty much done. Another option is to manufacture the entire coaster yourself. This will require a little more laser time, but can really increase your profit margin. I'm cutting out some coaster blanks from 8th inch clear acrylic here. Acrylic is going to be on the faster side of engraving time, as you're just trying to mark the surface without going too deep. If you use clear acrylic, you're also going to want to reverse your design so that it's being engraved on what will be the coaster bottom. This gives a better look than having the engraving on the top. I think with clear acrylic, adding adhesive pads is optional, as they are visible which takes away from the overall look. But if you want to include them, using clear adhesive pads as shown here helps a little with that. I wanted to show a paint filled example of the acrylic coaster, so I also engraved another piece, but on this one I left the paper mask on. Engraving is on what will be the bottom of the coaster. I gave the engraving a dusting with some yellowish spray paint, which will be on the top of the design when viewing it. Hopefully that makes sense. I then followed up with some light coats of green spray paint. The mask had to be peeled off, which was a little time consuming given the number of small pieces in this design. I also added some clear adhesive pads to the bottom of this coaster. Overall, I think paint filling this produced a really nice result.
final coaster I made was from quarter inch MDF. This could be made faster and cheaper with an eighth inch thick material, but an MDF coaster should be considered a more temporary type of coaster as it will absorb moisture. So I figured thicker is better. That's what she said. The quarter inch material will hold up better than a binner material and is still very cheap and easy to work with. Given the cost nature of this material, this might be considered as more of a promotional type of coaster. MDF does produce a nice and clean looking engraving. If a paper mask had been left on, it could also have been quickly paint filled with some spray paint. I added some adhesive pads to the coaster, but I think this is another one that could be optional, especially as this would be somewhat disposable. The price of $9.99 was kept consistent on all the coaster sets, but this was not based on anything other than a popular price point to give a more even comparison across all options. Obviously, you could increase the price on the higher end materials if the market will bear it, or reduce the price on the cheaper coasters to be more competitive while still being able to maintain a good profit margin. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think, and if you're looking to add coasters to your product portfolio. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more projects coming soon. Stay tuned.